In this tutorial, we are going to write a program to add two matrices. So in this tutorial, we will do its implementation using C and Java code. So before solving this problem, let's first understand how we can add two matrices, what is two dimensional array and how we can traverse two dimensional array. So uh, suppose uh, these are my two matrices A and B. It has uh, three rows and three columns. So uh, these are three cross three matrix so it's three cross three matrix so how we can visualize these two matrix so suppose if we have one dimensional array and it has following element one nine eight two then to visualize this array it's very simple uh, the one is present in zeroth index nine is present in first index eight is present at two index and this 2 is present at third index but to visualize two dimensional array how we can visualize it so suppose uh, i am taking an example of three dim uh, three cross three three column and three rows matrix then uh, i have following index 0 0 0 1 so it is my zeroth column and zeroth uh, row zeroth column and first row zeroth column and second row now my first column and zeroth row my first column and first row my first column and second row my first my second column and zeroth row my second column and first row my second column and second row so this one is present at zeroth column and zeroth row so zero zero index this two is present at zeroth column and first row so this is zero one index my uh, three is present at zeroth column and second row similarly five is present at first column and zeroth row so it has index of one zero so when we do the addition then this zero zero of a is added with zero zero of b i mean z element present at zeroth column and zeroth row of a is added with element present at zeroth column and zeroth row of b so one is added with one and the result is two then five which is present at first column and zeroth row one is present at first column and zeroth row if we do its addition then the result is six similarly this one is present at second column and zero through so that its index at two zero this nine is present at zero th, I mean second row and zero a uh, second column and zero through then if we do its addition nine plus one then the ten similarly all other element of a matrix is added and we get following result so this is how we can represent two-dimensional array so two-dimensional array if we uh, let's say it has column and rows then we can represent it like this so to traverse an array we need to use two for loop why two for loop so one loop will start from zero and its condition is i is less than column and we increment i plus plus so my second loop will will it will be for column so it will be zero and if i do the comma and j will be less than uh, my second uh, loop will be for row and increments j zero so for zero we for zeroth column will traverse first all the uh, values of row so zero 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 one zero two and for next iteration for first column i'll traverse all for uh, first column i'll traverse all its value for second column i'll traverse all its value so uh, let's uh, see its example so if i so this is how we can traverse two dimensional array we start with column and its value is less than column and we increment column plus plus and then we'll start row and then 
it's less than row and row plus plus so this is how we can print column and row so what will be its value in first iteration if we take zeroth column I mean this is the zeroth column and its first index zero zero one then for zeroth column and first row two then for zeroth column and and third uh, second row three similarly for uh, then first column and zeroth row five eight seven one two one so on so in this way we traverse two dimensional array now we understand how two dimensional array is represented how we can traverse two dimensional array now let's see uh, the addition part how we can add two matrices so this is my java code and what we do is uh, let's start from main method i have two array two two dimensional array of three cross three three rows and three columns so this is how my two dimensional array uh, looks and i'll created one method add in which i have passed two matrices array one array two and column and row so we have three cross three matrix the so value of column is three and row is three now i started traversing uh, uh, matrices so both the matrix so i'll start from zero to n and i'll start from j zero to m so it is my column and it's my row and i have declared one two dimensional array which is array 3 and in array 3 so for what i have explained it to you for 0 0 i mean i'll assign array 3 suppose for 0 0 i'll add the value present at array 1 0 0 plus array 2 0 0 so what's the value present at this index so at array 1 0 0 it's 1 and at array 2 0 0 it's 1 so we added these two value and assign at array 3 0 0 similarly for next iteration it's 0 1 and here we have array 0 1 and array 2 0 1 so what's the value present at 0 1 0 th column and first row it's 2 and what's the value present at uh, 0 th column and first uh, row of p it's 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 and which is assigned at 0 th column and first row of array 3 similarly for 0 th column second row this is 0 th column and second row and we have added this one 3 and 5 and assign it at 0th column and second row of array 3 which is 8 so this is how we add uh, two matrices and let's remove it and after uh, once we added all the values present in both the matrices we uh, display its results so if I run a loop so see what's my output this is what uh, the output is 2 6 10 4 10 5 8 13 5 so it's how we can add two matrices so this is my java code and let's see uh, the c code in c program i have declared few variables so i have declared a uh, three two dimensional array a b c and it's uh, maximum rows and column is 100 and uh, i am taking input from user uh, give me the number of rows and columns of a matrix and then we take the values of first matrix from a user then second matrix from a user and here the addition part in which i am adding two matrix and after that i am printing the result so this is the logic let's uh, see the code once so uh, these are my few variables then i am taking rows and column as an input from a user then i am taking the value of a and b matrix from a user 
then I am adding two matrices and finally I am printing the results so this is how we can add two matrices if you have any doubt in this program you can ask any questions in the comment section and the link of the code is present in the description box so please make sure you can check the description box and for more such video tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can also visit our website which is webrewrite.com https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video